What is going on, Sass Ham? Let's welcome back. Ah. Mm, 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 you know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah. You know, you might as well let Ashley sleep with Mike. I mean, at least he's got some notches in his belt, you know? He'll treat her right! Fucking pathetic, Christopher! I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Hey, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike! What? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened. No. No, I... I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's a soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. SHUT YOUR FUCKING MOUTH! Son of a bitch! No. Stop! Stop, dude! Chill out! What the hell are you doing? I, 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 you, you were gonna shoot him. I was just messing with the man. Just trying to scare him. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Well, what the hell, man? I could've killed him! Relax. It's fine. He's... He'll be fine. I, I didn't like doing that. Well, now, at least, he's quiet. Hmm. You should go back to the lodge. What, what? What? Why? I'm gonna watch him until the morning. I don't need you beating him half to death the whole time. Th th that's not fair. I, th I thought I was protecting you. Yeah, well, job well done. Take a vacation. Well, what the hell, man? Go back to the lodge. Now. Good. Now! Oh yeah, next episode already, eh? Josh! <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off! No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. We're gonna fucking pay you, dick! Ah! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Hey, he's open you. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh boy. Shit. So we got a flare now. I was expecting to Yep. Shit. That's a creature. A monster. A and there it is again. 
Let's see you want to fall in the day. Oh, it's okay, you don't need it here. Uh, I love this follow in there, so let's get high consistent. Here. Go left. Go, go left. Yeah, I'm gonna get my controller still just in case. Go, 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 go. There's something out like there. Like what? Just relax, it was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower, and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh, it. my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Ma'am. You made it. God, yeah, yeah, barely. <sighs> what about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. Uh, she's all messed up, guys. Emily, 
Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh, what? All right. I'll... Okay, there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain. Prize to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain. Belongs to the Wendigo. Mm -hmm. Who? Is he talking the Wendigo. The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shh, not Mike. There is a curse. That dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh crap. Yep, that's it. And this is ice. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. Basement might be okay. Okay. Get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Roll Guys, credits. I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What what do you mean? Uh Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. All right. The rest of you. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Sure thing, dude. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. Mm. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Uh, we need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Shipping. 
So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, Fire. slow it down. But how do you kill it? You don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. And their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Mm. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or, I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? They adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. You mean like how? You've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Mm hmm The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they can be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I uh, can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changing the movement in their field. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Testing it out. Just if you have no other choice. Yeah. Damn it. If these things Wendigos are or, or were human. Gotta find Josh, he can still be out there. <laughs> First, when you go, he'll render you a mobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Might still be near. Hmm. Okay, so he's got a fire thing to defend himself. Go, 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 go! Oh. oh, shit! Okay. Chris! <sighs> my god, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go! That thing was like right behind me! Go, oh. no, go, 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 go! That's Josh, is it? Oh my god, guys, thank god! It took you so long! It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it... 
tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. My dogs. Not so sure. Dogs are being quite what will happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, oh shit, had a lot. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. F. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There'd been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there'd been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, It's, oh it's my nothing. God. Oh, it just oh, it, no, it no, bit no, me no. and... Bit you? What bit you? It's a... The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us She is down. fine. It's not like zombie. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is no. that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're no. going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you were sort of cannibalism. You can't be down here with us. If Emily started what? eating Mike, someone, then yeah. Go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're- you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. 
okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. The Winnego grows out of karma's when a human is desperate and crazy food. Is it? Minor disaster, yeah. There's a lot of history to this. The Windigo's eyes change to become both sharper and more dim. This says that because the Windigo's are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Hunger cravings, skull. Relatives. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Please, just try yeah. to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. I'm gonna play this in my own time. I'm just gonna kill everyone. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. I want to try and keep everyone alive in this one, see. We've got to get to Mike. Now. people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Alright guys, leave that episode 8. Forget to ask like button, subscribe, join with the day. See you guys next episode. Peace.